Hello, DDP students, and welcome to this second installment of um, assembling our autonomo box. Um, we've already got the followers, the axle rod, the handle, the bushing here, the box. Um, we need the cams, um, and we're going to install something else, a ruler spacer. Um, we're going to talk about this. This is really important before we install the cams. Um, our crank needs to be at point zero here. And if you installed the handle the way that I installed the handle, so the um, the hole here is along the axle, so that makes that this handle is pointing straight down. If you installed it this way and it um, hasn't been turned um, or you saved it this way, it should um, just be naturally at the zero position. If we zoom in, we could see that that's a zero degree. So if we were to move that, you see the degrees move like that. So we need this to be at the zero degree mark. All right, so um, hopefully you saved it that way and it's orientated that way. So it needs to be this way before we can insert our next piece, which is gonna be a ruler spacer. So it looks like this. I know from experience that um, this needs to be flipped 100 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, this has some measurements on it and the backside of it, let me just put 180. Okay, and the backside of it um, has backwards numbers. We wanna make sure that if we look at this, this has the 270 here. This is 90 degrees, which will make um, this right here, 0 0.0. And of course, this is gonna be our 180 right here. So we're ready to assemble this to this side. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a joint here and um, let's try to, I see that target appear right there. I'm just gonna hit that right there. Um, and then I'm gonna zoom in. Let me close this data panel, give us more room. Okay, I'm gonna zoom way in and I'm gonna get the circle of the axle rod here. It's gonna um, go there. Let's get a, a straight right view. And we wanna center this. So there's, um, it's not all the way at the bottom, but it's centered right here in the, in the handle. Um, this looks good because the zero and the zero are aligned here. Um, this 270, it all looks like it's orientated correctly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to look at the side and see that it is flush as much as can be. We don't want it to be embedded into the box. Kind of seems that, that way. So I'm just going to make this a 1.4. That seems better to me. So I'm just going to hit that and I'm going to set that. So before we put our cams in, this has to be zero position, all right? Just so that's understood. And when we put our cams in, let's insert our first cam. Uh, it needs to be put on the axle rod in the lowest position, which means that it's the shortest distance from the hole, all right? Or the point where the follower is gonna be at its lowest point. So I'm gonna install the eccentric cam. All right, I'm going to rotate it to the orientation that, let's get that here, 90 degrees, okay. I'm going to move it, uh, you know, I could just do it on this side, but, what we want to consider when we're looking at our cams is where is the lowest part going to be um, with the follower? We can see that because there's the greatest distance. Uh, let me get a better view here. Um, there's a, the greatest distance between the hole and this side that this is going to be the maximum height right here. Whereas here, there's the shortest distance between the hole and the top here or the bottom. So we want to orientate this and let's do it in 90 degrees. So this is gonna be 180, all right? So the shortest, so this is gonna be the lowest that the follower is gonna be and that's the way we want this to be orientated. So we're gonna go to our assembly joint. 
we're going to get that circle right there. Let's go to the pencil rod. Okay, we're gonna throw that cam on there. Um, let's go push it here. So we wanna move this so it's directly uh, underneath the follower. Let's just play with the numbers a little. Okay, so let's try 7.5. That looks good, that looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that. I see that the smallest displacement is here. That looks good to me. All right, cool. Um, now I'm gonna bring this follower down. here and I'm just gonna bring this right there so it's touching um, and then I'm gonna move on to the next cam and we're gonna go from there so the next one I'm going to install is my heart cam insert into the current design this is gonna take a little more figuring here so let's first orientate it 90 degrees here let's get there we go 90. All right. Let's set this up. All right. So we at least have it facing the right way, but now we want to consider where the lowest part of the follower is going to be. So one thing I can ascertain is at these points here, um, this is where the follower is going to rise, it's going to drop here, it's going to rise here. It's going to drop here and then it's going to um, rise at this point here. So because it's going to rise here and it's going to rise here, there's not a lot of space here before the next rise. So I'm going to ascertain that the lowest is going to be is about here. All right. So I'm going to orientate it 90 degrees and see where that leaves me. OK, so that's going to leave me at this bump right here all right and i know it's going to rise there i want it to be more here facing upwards let's try something like 130 135 no let's do 120 something like that okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna go actually uh, I'm going to do 125, maybe 130, 130. We're going to go with negative 130. All right, I'm going to go with it. All right, cool. So we have that set here. Um, I'm going to go to my joint. Okay. And let's let's get a good front view going. Okay, and see where we're at here. So that's three. So let's try eight to five. Let's try there. That looks good. Um, maybe we can rotate that a little more. I think that right here is good. So this is a flat surface here. And I'm thinking right here when the, when it comes down, that's going to be our lowest point right here. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to set that. I'm going to bring this follower down as well. Let's just make sure it's right on top. All right. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, connect these together. So we're going to go to our assemble and um, 
this says new contact set, but at the very beginning, it might say enable contact set. That's what you want to do first. So um, I've already been messing with this. So it says new contact set. So and what we want is enable contact set. Okay. Since I've already done that, you would do that. Then you would go back into a symbol and then you would do new contact set. All right. So what we're going to do is we're now going to take this whole follower and this cam. We're going to connect them together. We're going to hit OK. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, slider joint that's right here. Let you get a be better look at that. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit the motion limits here. All right. We're going to go to our rest. Okay, we're just going to mess around with this um, a little bit. I'm not sure what we're looking for. Okay, so let's try one. Okay, so let's try 1.25. Um, that didn't work. Let's try, okay, negative 1.25. Let's try negative 1.5. Okay, good, good. What we want is for this follower to be embedded in this just a little bit, okay? So let me try 1.7. All right, so now that's kind of inside cam like that. That is That looks good to me. We want it kind of inside, but not so far that it, it's anywhere near the axle rod. So I'm going to hit OK, and it's just going to bounce right back up here, all right? Um, now I'm going to do the same thing to this. I'm going to assemble new contact set. I'm going to choose my follower, choose my cam, hit OK. I'm going to go to my slider joint. I'm going to go to um, edit motion limits. Go to my rest. Um, again, I'm not really sure. I'm going to try 1.7. All right. And that is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to do 1.75. All right, cool. Hit OK. It's going to pop back up. Now let's see what we got here. Um, we're going to go to here, browser, and we're going to go to joints. We're going to go to Revolute, the first Revolute, the one that is associated with the axle here. And we're going to animate joint relationships. And you see that this is all working very well. Let's see what it looks like from the side. It's uh, interesting. I might have put a rotational um, joint on that. Let me see the joint. Uh, this should not be moving along with it. OK. OK, but when we hit escape, it goes back to zero, okay? And that is okay with me. If this, I obviously made a mistake by putting a, um, let's find out, uh, we could find out where that Revolute is here. I think it would be pretty easy here. And let's just change that. So we could change that um, joint by editing the joint. Um, let's see. Let's just see if this is going to work here. I think that might have been. Okay. So let's just see if that works. And I'm going to animate. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to look for the other joint. But that's not really the point of the lesson. Um, this moving along with the handle is not a big deal at all, as long as it's all set to zero. But um, I'm curious. So I'm going to try to animate this. Oh didn't work. Um, okay. So that's a problem for another time. Just make sure that when you install uh, this, it actually might have been because it's um, on the axle rod. But try to just make sure it's a rigid constraint. But other than that, it's really no big deal at all. And everything is working really well. So um, I'd be happy with this if you were able to animate all that. But let's just take a look one more time at the um, motion that it creates. OK. 
Okay, so one is the eccentric cam, one is the heart cam. And when we go in with the followers, we see that they produce two different types of lateral motion. One is more constant here, and this one is slower to rise and fall. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. We're gonna talk about how to, um, how to execute your theme. Okay, in the next video and how to add some special stuff to it. So I'll see you at the next video. Let me stop that. There we go. All right. See you there.